One of the new features in iOS 18 is the ability to customize your home screen pages and it gives you more control over the appearance of your iPhone than ever before. To begin customizing, tap and hold anywhere on the page. You'll notice a new edit button appears on the top left hand side of the screen. Tap on it and you'll see a drop down menu appear. Let's start with the first one, which is add widget. There are a huge range of widgets that you can choose from. To see them all, scroll down the screen and I'm gonna start by adding the weather widget. Now I'm gonna swipe over to the second page of my homepage screen on the iPhone and I'll add some more widgets. This time I'll add YouTube search so I can easily access YouTube on my phone. Next, I'll add a music player and you can add either Apple Music or Spotify or both. I'll just add Spotify for the moment. And you'll notice there is a handle on the bottom right hand corner of the widget. You can grab this handle and drag it across to make the widget horizontal. You can do this with any widget, by the way. You can go ahead and add as many widgets as you like to any of the screens on your phone. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next option, which is customize. You can change the app icons from small to large. And when you do that, the app title disappears, or you can go back to small and you'll get the familiar layout with a small icon and title below. Tap on the background light icon on the left to change the background from light to dark. Tap again to restore it to the light background. The icons below allow you to change between light and dark mode. If you choose automatic, it will toggle between light and dark mode automatically depending on the time of day. There's a new tinted option that lets you apply a color tint over your app icons. You can use the color slider to choose the color of choice. The last thing that I wanted to demonstrate is the new edit pages option. Tap on this to get access to all of your screens. If you want to declutter, you can tap on the tick option below each screen. Tap on the tick and when unchecked, the screen will be hidden. To bring back the screen, re-enter the edit pages screen and tap on the tick to restore. While we're here, we can also reorganize the order of pages and to do that, tap and hold on any screen and move it into the desired position. So there you have it, a new way to customize your iPhone in iOS 18. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, hit me up the like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.